attack. I'll take your skull as a trophy. In an instant, Alderpatch's pleasant facade evaporates. His eyebrows furrow menacingly, his gnarled fists clench, and his voice sees with black, pent-up fury. You would raise your hand against me, Alderpatch, Rune Lord of Wrath? I'll teach you some manners, ruffian. The pendant on his clothing flares up, and blazing runes come slithering out of the flame. They envelop him as he cackles mockingly. Let me just prepare for a fight while you're <laughs> having fun with my lackeys. Sure you weren't ke expecting to catch me off guard, my dear. Now, let's see how you like my surprises. Alderpatch's skull. The head of the Lich Alderpash, containing knowledge of the ancient secrets of the Rune Lords and their horrific trespasses. The Pillar of Skulls greets you, the heads whispering in unison. Greetings, Master. We serve. You command. Place Alderpash's skull inside the pillar. Popping its eyes out, the withered head opens his mouth as though it is about to scream, but it remains silent. The Pillar of Skulls, meanwhile, immediately launches into its report. We sense new knowledge, we absorb it, digest it. A new memory, personality, logic, new words. Cohesion has been achieved. We are ready to serve. While I find Alderpatch's knowledge useful, we believe so, Master. What once was a separate entity now thinks for your benefit as part of our mind made whole. Plenty of useful knowledge known as the Rune Lord's magic of sin has been discovered in his memory. The magic practitioners at your service will become acquainted with these ancient arts presently. Alderpash, are you there? The voice of the Pillar of Skulls resounds from all directions, and you detect a slight change in it. Alderpash's good-natured tone has clearly joined the chorus. We are one of many. We think in unison. We serve you, my dear master. Carry on. We thank you for the honor, our lord. 